deserve it. They all they want is to die. They don't want nothing. They've been sitting on this on the on the bed looking at around them where there is nothing surrounding them. What we should do here? We should put you in Asia so they can at least have a have a life after. According to the BBC News, 20 years old woman lost her legs in an accident. She was about to die. She was about to die. She lost all her individuals. What do she do here? She has no life after. She lost her life. She don't want to live again. What she do here? Just let her in the bed. Nothing's running around, look at the walls, being disgusted from her face. Is that what she do? What she do? We are, we are here. Get, get, like she lost all of her characteristics. She has nothing in life. If she lost hope in life, why don't we give her euthanasia? It's her decision. Okay, thank she you, Basim. It's, it's no, a freedom of choice. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Abdurrahman, ready? Yes. Yes, please. Okay. No, I just like you to talk because we're not gonna follow the, all the rules. You know what I mean? I just, I just want everyone to have the chance to talk. Okay. So thank you, Basim. Thank you. Uh, Amr Anwar. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you said that because of an accident happened to an old lady, to a 20 years old lady, uh, she she deserves to die because she is useless. This I got the point. A silly, I didn't say the accident happened to her. I didn't say that she deserved to die. I said it's her decision to die. She lost all her individual characteristics and she lost her like she have no hope in life. Okay. This and is she wants to die. Because of her decision. And she was a, you know, she wants to kill herself. She was afraid of God. She was afraid for her religion. Okay. And so what we should do here in euthanasia is kill her without her knowing. Actually, then she's going to go to heaven. She has nothing to scare about. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, you say that uh, the, uh, the, uh, the patients will have to stay uh, yeah. in the room uh, for, forever and, uh, and, and you have to kill, to kill them. Uh, but but maybe with development uh, with development uh, and with the technology and the I'll rephrase my point here. I didn't say we kill them. They've been in the bed surrounding the walls, and there is still a vision. And there is a nurse waiting for her to entertain her. She doesn't get entertained. That's what you're the here for. Go Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Muhammad. Thank you. Okay. Who's ready from this group? Hamad? Mahir? Yes. Hello everyone, we are here to debate about mercy killing or euthanasia. This house believes that euthanasia is a person's own, opinion, own choice, but we also believe that it's also God's choice when the person will die. Do you not believe that miracles can happen? Do you not believe that the person eventually, somehow, could just get up all of a sudden and be alive? Do you not believe that God can do as He likes, when He likes, how He likes? Wait, permission. What if I don't believe in God? It's your own belief, but still, it's God's choice. He can do what He wants. A proverb says, "No pain, no gain." Then why don't? They go through some pain and get some gain out of it. You say that you would you imagine yourself if you're sick, would you let yourself die? Would you be agreeing to actually go through a euthanasia? I want information. Deny. <laughs> uh, when a when a person gives up hope for life and decides to die, 
and his family help him. That's like euthanasia by agreeing to kill an innocent person. <laughs> <laughs> Good information. I know. Okay, I agree. Oh. You're contradicting yourself here. I know, it's that point. So, if, if you were sick and your wife was pregnant, would you agree to the fact of going through euthanasia and not see your first child or not even see any child or see the whole life all over again? You would, you would agree to dying without seeing anything left? Your parents, your siblings, anything? You're willing to die because you don't want to go through some pain and possibly survive? Are you saying that...